Yes, why, why is it that we're not understanding that? Because I, I recall my history teacher would tell me you can't say the history of Nigeria. You take up the definite article because that's not the complete history. Mm -hmm. You can say a history of Nigeria because you have your own version of it. Exactly. So why are we <laughs> not getting the whole import of this, that uh, this is his own perspective, that if you have a contrary view, you should as well sit down and give us yours. Because in any case, in some of those volumes, are we saying some of those help us here? Some of those he has reproduced because some of those letters, documents, he had to put them there, uh, reproduce them uh, in those books. Were they also not verifiable? Of course, they are verifiable. Of course, these are very verifiable parts. See, what I see is yes, I mean, for example, let, let, let's face it, uh, Yinka's book is not really addressing that except the, the title. Yinka's book is looking at a totally different, albeit sometimes personal aspect of Chief uh, uh, you know, as president, as a politician. That's, 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 that's that. But we're looking at the facts as to, number one, the fact of his upbringing, of his birth, of his career in the army, of uh, you know, what he did as president, what he did after the president. You see, the, the real controversy is the timing of the presentation of that book. Now, anything you do right now is seen as being political. And Which when, are the book? Both books? My Watch and Watch the Watch? Well, the, 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 watch, the Watchman, of, of, I say, is a reaction. Uh, to my watch. It's just, it's our political things. What about watch. the timing of my watch? The, that's what I'm saying. I said the timing of my watch itself, you know, okay. appears to have come at a time when some political decisions were going to be taken, okay? And, uh, and that influenced it. I don't know that's whether it was time to do that. When we ask him, he says no, that he has already finished his book and went to do that presentation on that particular day. You know, that, that's, that's uh, Gerard Massager for you. Now, but clearly, the reaction that you've seen, you know, as I said, I've read the review of Ian Kodufaki's book. Reaction? Yes. Uh, well, have you gotten any reaction from outside Nigeria, from non-Nigerians? Because it would seem that the reaction is coming only from Nigerians. Because he also mentioned a lot of foreign friends and uh, well, associates, uh, Ted Turner, uh, you know, Jimmy Carter, a lot of people, even the Ford Foundation. How come that these uh, uh, individuals and even corporate uh, entity have not come to say uh, these are lies about uh, are mentioning in the books? As I said, the timing, the space, and time discipline, the, the, the right now, I'm sure those people, they are studying that book, and they are going to make their, you know, you know what I would say, uh, informed opinion in very due course. But you see here we are in a hurry because we have an election and this book is saying things about those people that we are going to you know have to decide upon which of them is going to continue to rule us. So it's very important that local reactions come at the time they do. I appreciate it. I mean but what I'm saying is that let's face as she said are we saying those letters or those things that happened there did not happen? Okay? You know, what I would have thought is that somebody would say, the other side of, you know, Chief Olushe Ngobasanjo, you know, let's, let's look at the other side of Chief Olushe Ngobasanjo. And that would be a book. And that's something that we all like to read as well. Well, Prof, uh, if uh, these books yeah. are subjected to series of reviews before they're eventually published, as you recommended, do you think that the authors, because if the experts in review take out some key things, maybe some words, liars, mm -hmm. do you think the authors will allow that be, especially if they say, no, this is part of the essence why I'm writing the book in the first place? Well, I've not had time to look at uh, what we have in this Copyright Council or Copyright Arts or whatever. But I, I'm sure that, uh, you know, it, it, should, it should be able to. There should be a body who will say, no, you don't, you don't use that word. Oh, but for, 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 but for God's sake, if yes. an elder is lying, there's, yeah, only yeah. So, there's only one way to say a lie is a lie. If something no. is not true, then it's a lie. A I lie think. might not be the complete truth. You can still say to an elder. It, it, is, not likely, it is not likely mm -hmm. that I look at an elder in the face and I say you are a liar. But when they're both elders, what happens? I mean, if they're age from one elder to the other elder. From one elder to the other elder, what happens? 
No, well, they were not born the same day. <laughs> <laughs> so there must be an hierarchy somehow. But some, do, do, do we take solace that first they are writing books? Or yes, is I'm, it happy, that... I'm happy they are writing books. I'm happy they are writing but books. But does it improve the reading culture? Because if, if their read, books it, are based it, on... It will improve the reading culture. I mean, people are just going to know. People who just buy the book sometimes, are they just keeping it in their shelf? Just to, you know, I mean, I've seen that. I mean, you've taken all the glamour of reading books away. The television as well. If you are, we also no, but, but we have another program, uh, the book club. <laughs> the book club. We're the bringing book, we're bring back. back. Yeah. Okay, that, that's great. Reading. Yeah. That, that's great. They must read. So this book, whatever it is, people who are involved in that in this administration with him, his friend, and so on, they will read that book. Okay, and that's good. And they will disseminate the information. Oh no, no, no! It didn't happen that way. For example, uh, the IMF uh, conditionality didn't happen that way. The money we saved from the World Bank, we didn't even save anything from the World Bank. Those are the type of arguments that I think in, I would in like in to fairness, see. In fairness, just a moment, before we, just before we close, yeah. it's, uh, you've seen a review of the book. Do you think that it represents President Obasanjo? The review of Yeah, the review now? of watching watch uh, the watch watch watch, Watcher. I, I've, I've seen the review. Yes. And I don't think it represents uh, President Obasanjo very well. I, I don't think that some of them, of course, that seems to talk about incidents. But the man himself, I, I really don't think people have spent time to really understand the man. I mean, let's find out what they are doing in the university. Uh, they should not wait until it's passed on before they start. What really, what makes this man? Uh, I've, I've met some politicians before, and they say, well, for this uh, chief of Boston, um they will never criticize him openly. But they don't like him because he didn't allow them to do certain things that they want to do and blah, 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 blah. It happens during his first time as head of state. And it's also happening uh, the, 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 the second and third times as president. So the, the, the man is, is unique. We must, we must give that. Of course, it's only in a society like this. And that's what I kept on thinking to myself. I said, when you look at a primitive society, I tell you, a primitive society is of 140 or 170 million, where a single person is head of state X number of times. You know, it, it, that's primitivity. It happened in the United States. We are within the family, even though it's happening now, when another bush is going to be. Uh, it, it's still a culture of primitivity. There should be enough people to take over. Once you've done your own time, you go away. That should, so it's part of the failure of leadership unnecessarily, uh, unfortunately, that when we are leaders, we don't spend time to start to build that takeover, you know. I mean, you must have read this in a lot of leadership. Anyway. All right, Prof. Thank you for coming on this morning. Now, Professor Oye Bidak will be former vice chancellor of University of Lagos, has given us his thoughts on several books and how these books come about in the first place. We're back after this break. Don't go away. is half truth um, okay well the debate is strongly <laughs> on twitter here some people yeah. say look a lie is a lie others say no 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 but there are better ways of saying it who knows well that's it for 2014 what a year it's been and what a way to end the year as well but hey what could we have done without you out there i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you all your comments and your encouragements as well even the criticisms also We'll be back next time, next year. I'm mm. trembling for so. Yeah, next year seems so far away. That's why yeah. you have to appreciate when you wake up and you see another day. 
thank you so much for watching through 2014. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see you next year. Well, I'm just excited because uh, now I think the reading culture is uh, back. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've gone beyond Easy Goes to School, <laughs> an hour of God. Now we're watching. Well, we're watching to, what, what's that name they call today in the locals in Watch Night? Yes, yeah. uh, as we watch, watch the night. watch, my watch, watch men, watch night. Happy New Year. I'm Sliver. I'll let keep watching. Bye-bye.